Hey guys, in this Spage AR tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a long nose effect like this. I have created a free 3D asset which you can use to create this filter and I will also show you how you can adjust the length of the nose. So let's go. Hey again, so let's create this long nose filter here in Spag AR. The first step we have to do is to download a 3D asset which I have created for you to use in this tutorial. So to download this, just go to the description of this video and then you will end up here on this site when you click on the download link. After you have downloaded this longnose.fbx file, um, yeah, just unzip the zip folder and then we can move on here in the Spark AR Studio. So now we have to import this 3D file. For this, we go to our Assets panel and click on the little plus. Here we go to Asset and then click on Import. Now search for your downloaded file, the longnose.fbx file, click on it and then click on Open. So after you have imported this file, you should find this long nose file in your assets panel. Now the next step is that we create a face mesh. For this, we go to our scene and also click on the little plus. And here we just search for face mesh and then just click on insert. When we have done this, Spark AR automatically creates a face tracker with a face mesh in it. So and now we have to select the face mesh in our scene then go to the right hand side and here we can find um, deformation under the properties of this face mesh and next to it there is a little plus. When you click on it you can select the long nose 3D file and when you click on this you should see that we already have a long nose but there are some weird things are going on it doesn't look that nice because everything is distorted. You can see my eyes are sucked in to the nose and also the background. Now we will um, fix this. For this we have to create a new material. So go to the assets panel again, click on the plus and go to material. Then I will just rename this material to face. Now go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Now we need a texture for our material and this will be the face texture of our face. So to get this texture we have to go to the left hand side to our scene panel then click on the yellow face tracker and then go to the right hand side and here we can find texture extraction and also here is a plus next to it. Click on it and then you can find a face tracker zero texture in your assets panel. Now again click on the face um, material, go to the right hand side and now select for the texture the face tracker texture. Now one last step, go to your scene again, select the face mesh, go to the right hand side again, go down to materials and here select for the material the face material. When you have done this, there is something weird going on, but this is just a little bug. And um, to solve this, go to the left hand side and click on restart. So it restarts your filter and everything should be fine. And now all the weird distortions around the nose are gone. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And now you have created your own long nose filter. One last thing I just remember is when you want to change the length of your nose, um, you can select the face tracker, go to the right hand side, go down to deformation and here there is a slider. This is at 100%, when it is at zero the nose is normal and so you can change the length of your nose. So you can animate this or do some fun things with it. So thanks for watching, if you liked this tutorial give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so you don't miss any of my new videos. Thanks for watching, bye!